Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy series. I'm your host Adam, the CIO and co-founder of Nidus. And today I want to talk about something that just scared the ever-loving crap out of me. And it's that you could have your entire life stolen from you just because someone has access to your email. So think of this. Let's say someone gets access to your email. That would be bad. We will go into all the ways that it's bad, but here's a new way it's bad that I just never thought of. Is everyone's probably heard of the company DocuSign. DocuSign is a place where you can go and sign legally binding contracts. And what those contracts are for are completely up to you and the parties that you're signing the contracts for. But it's considered a legally binding document, which has been great. I think all of us have signed contracts on DocuSign and we all love it because we don't have to print everything out. We don't have to sign it. We don't got to do all this other crap. It's just do, 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 do. We're done. Yay. We got the job and we can go on. Well, think of it this way, though. If someone has access to your email, that's where the DocuSign link comes. So uh, let's pretend I am a malicious person. And the first thing I'm going to do is figure out a way to get into your email. Now, let's say I have access to your email. At this point, I'm going to write up a contract, a very good legally binding contract that takes, that says, I'm going to transfer ownership of your company to me, or I'm going to give, I want to have power of attorney to assign your will and everything over to me, or I want to do whatever, and I'm going to have it signed over to my company or some shell of a company that's hiding, that's a bearer bond corporation. So you don't even know the person that's behind it and it's all offshore. I mean, you could get crazy right now. I send that signature to your email. Well, as soon as I go in, I send it, I click the link. I'm now logged in as you click the link to sign the email. I delete it immediately. So this way in case you go in there, you're like, oh, what was that? Oh, it must've been a mistake. You're not even going to know what it was about. Now I'm in DocuSign. I'm going to go next, next, next. I sign the name because it's not actually a signature, right? It's just, you're just typing out your name and adopting whatever font they choose to be your signature. And boom, now there is a legally binding contract that you just signed over anything and everything to someone you have no idea all because all they had was access to your email. So as much as I'm a proponent of like these digital signatures making life very simple, when you think of it from the other way, this could be massively, massively problematic. So what do we do? Well, I think the big thing is if it's something important, it should be gone through a notary. But the problem is the only way you know it's important is if you're working on the contract with that third party. But if you're just signing up a some blank check contract to someone, it's not like you're going to work out with the attacker to have them sign it through a notary. And then you're going to have to argue in court that, no, I didn't sign that. Now, that is more likely than not you'll be able to make that argument and you know be able to retract it somehow because there's literally no other documentation outlining that this contract happened. But the problem is, most of the time, if they did this right, you would never know what happened in the first place. Because it's not like if these contracts are signed, all of a sudden you can't access something, right? I mean, it's not like they're going to sign a contract or transfer over your bank account and then the next day you can't log into your bank account. I mean, well, maybe it's possible. But it's going to be something else. It's going to, because think about it, when we sign contracts, it's for things that are not digital, right? It's for something like the transfership of the ownership of a company. So if I wanted to steal a company from somebody and I were to say, go through this method, I could have all the documentation and all the paperwork filed through the States or countries or wherever this, wherever the company was formed, transfer the company, transfer the assets, do everything all right out from underneath you. And you would have no idea it happened until a year later when all of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, I never filed for my annual membership form thing where you got to fill out the members of the company or you go to where any you go to file to get a good standing certificate and realize you can't log in or you know it's like wait what's this name that says they're president of the company that's not me and then all of a sudden you're going holy crap i just had my company stolen from me so as cool as docusign is that is kind of a terrifying thought so if this is not a great reminder that you need to have multi-factor authentication turned on to your email I think you should be doing that right now. So protect yourself, get MFA on board and try to use an MFA that isn't something that everyone has access to. So protect yourself out there because this is just yet another thing that someone can take from you just by having access to your email. I'll see you around later.